DHT. My name is Dan, and I'm an explorer of sorts. I go to different parts of the world. I'm part owner of a website called Creepy Unexplained, where we go looking for odd happenings that go bump in the night. It just so happens that I found an article about a man down in deep south of Texas that he found some small light creatures with big red eyes and small like children hands with big giant faces. They had been chased off their workers that had found some strange buildings buried 50 feet down with some strange looking hieroglyphics depicted on the walls. It was a very tall man with a strange looking staff in his hand pointed down at the small creatures. Then it showed them running away. It showed a beam of light shooting down at them. Then it had them suspended in the sky. They had been a big wigs of that had found the project just told them to destroy them. But they said no. Did you see what uh, it looks like? The construction is going to be on hold until I'm able to get down there and do some more investigating myself. I had called out the boss and he was on site and I told him who I was and I, what I did dealt with before in the past of mummies in Tennessee, the big hairy eight man like creatures up there. I went ahead and sent them to my website. I told them about my fee and it was quite a pretty penny. But trust me, if they wanted my help with things on there, they would be willing to pay me. They said it would not be a problem. They would wire me the money to my account. I waited a day or two and got to my account. Then I packed my stuff and headed on my merry way to Texas. So I got in my old Ford Bronco. That was custom to my specifications. Triple blacked out with some spikes on the rims. I went play to doors. I was coming from California. It would take me two days to get there. It's always nice to go down there and get away from them heavy people and their weeds, so there was the going through Mexico. I had to make a quick pit stop there. I had a little bit of a quick one that I could put in the bag, so I found out that the small town had a problem with some missing cattle. So I stopped by the small town for a day. I told them I was feeling generous and I decided not to charge them since the Texas one had already paid me. I knew that it would be quick. I had to stay up all night and be ready on the lookout for some damn UFOs. I knew I'd finally catch them intergalactic bastards once and for all. And then trying to get, not trying not to get probed myself would be one to put on them foil hats so they could not be my mind. So I was just sitting there waiting at the ranch. And there was it happened. It just happened to guess. There was lucky enough that it showed up. I could not believe it. They did. It was quite a sight. It was one big one, all right. It was about the size of a football field. Then I saw them put down the straight beam of light, and I had seen the animal get sucked up in there. It had hovered over there for about an hour. Then the light went back down, and then he saw something fall to the ground. I ran over there and had to go check on it. The animal, so I did, and yet again, it was missing some organs, eyeballs, but then the next day I felt really, really sick. I was throwing up and could not keep anything down. I wondered if the cow had some sort of radioactive properties. So I went to the local university, and they had to do some sort of readings on me, and the levels were off the charts. They said it had to be put me in quarantine for a few days. But I told them that I could not wait, and I had to make it back to Texas somehow and not take care. So I had to bust out of this university. I got in my Bronco, started it up, and headed toward back to Texas. I was on the road for a few hours when I had to pull over a few times to let it up, but I told myself that I had to keep going. I have to get there even though I felt so weak, but I had to get this job done to do to get there. I was not going to let my reputation exceed me. I was not going to lose this customer. I had already been paid for God's sakes, and if I did not show up, they would want their money back, and I was not going to have that. So I had to push through and keep going. I was only eight hours away, but I had to stop and get some gas. I stepped out of the gas station. The dude said, hey, you don't look so hot. You look quite pale. I said, thanks put waters and snacks on the counter and asked how much plus gas 54 32 i paid and then i walked out to the side of the store i see a few men looking over at my car i walk over there and said hey is that your car i said yeah i would appreciate it if you would back away and if you if you don't then what are you going to do i don't have the strength to fight them off so i said well you don't mind me blowing this gas station up to high heaven with my zippo then I prepaid, then I pulled the handle from the pump and started squeezing the gas at the people, in which they said, man, you're crazy, and then made them run off in the other direction. That was a close call. I sat and I fell down towards the back of my car, just for a minute before on the road for a few hours fly by, and before I know it, I had arrived at my destination. I pull up to the construction site and go over 
looking for the boss man. I go ask some one of the workers if they had seen him. They said that they had not seen him since yesterday. They were trying to get some of the cranes out of the mud. Last time we saw him, maybe he's still over there. So I go walk over to the crane, go open the door, and what I see is his arms, his legs had been cut off. His head was also cut off. What on earth did this? I told you it was some small creatures that were down here building an ancient forest. I told boss man before he even started this project it was a bad idea, but he didn't listen. To me, he had to pay the ultimate price. But nonetheless, it was up to me to try to get these things back down, where they came to the depths of hell, where these things belong. And so I just happened to bring a book of sorts, an ancient one, that I started reading from the book. And all of a sudden, it's sunny outside, but then a storm rolls through out of nowhere. I keep reading the book. It starts lightning and thundering and pouring rain. As we're getting closer to the end of the page, I hear some wrestling of sorts a few feet behind me. And it's only the worker saying, you must stop. It's getting intense. I say, no, I must finish. This nonetheless, these things go back to where they came from. All of a sudden, a big ancient creature with long staff appears and sends me on the beam of light, shoots down at me, burns me, gives me secondary burns on my skin, and then begin to lift me up in the sky and it drags me down to the pit with them. Then they start getting concrete and pour on top in order to seal it up. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe.